Okay, in this next video, we're going to look at um, how to add objects to other objects, but place them on a, uh, on a specific side. So for example, if I were to bring out this roof shape, you know, I can, I can put it next to it right here. I can you know, maybe put it next to it here. But what if I wanted to place it on top? Right now, there's really sort of no way to do that. Um, I can't lift it up or anything. It just follows my mouse. So instead, what I'm going to do, well, so I could, I could lift it up this way, right? And I could move it over there and kind of approximate where I think it should go, right? But, but look, even there, it's not quite where I thought it should be. So I can bring it down, and that's fine, but it's not precise. So if I want to precisely bring a roof onto the top of this, this new object that I created, I'm going to have to do what's called changing the work plane. That's this, this grid here that we call the work plane. And the way I do that is I'm going to click on the W key on my keyboard, W. Once I do that, I now have the ability to change where my work plane is going to reside. And so if I pick the top of this object, and I click and let go, now my work plane has been temporarily moved to the top of this object. See? And if I go to my roof and I bring it out, it places it directly on the top of my other object. If I want to clear that work plane, I hit the W again, and I just find another spot in the original work plane. I click, and it moves it back but notice that my object is sitting perfectly on top of my first object. So that's adjusting the work plane for putting objects onto other objects.